chest tube management is a critical skill for respiratory therapists, especially during procedures like draining a large pleural effusion. When assisting in these high-pressure situations, it's crucial to anticipate complications and respond quickly to ensure the patient's safety. Imagine this. The chest tube is placed, connected to suction, and everything seems to be going smoothly until you notice continuous bubbling. This isn't just a minor detail. It's a red flag that something needs immediate attention. So in this case, what would you do next? How do you determine the best course of action to resolve this issue without compromising the patient? Well, keep watching because this video will break down a practice question that tests your knowledge of chest tube troubleshooting. So if you're ready, let's get into the question. A respiratory therapist is assisting a physician with the insertion of a chest tube for a patient with a large pleural effusion. During the procedure, the physician creates a 5 cm incision at the 5th intercostal space along the mid-axillary line. After connecting the chest tube to the suction system, the physician notices continuous bubbling in the water seal chamber. Which of the following would you recommend? A increase the water seal chamber level to 20 centimeters, B, placement of additional sutures around the chest tube, C, increase the suction regulator setting to greater than negative 100 centimeters of water pressure, or D, insert a new chest tube at the incision site. Do you know the answer? Well, let's break it down. Continuous bubbling in the water seal chamber is an indication of an air leak. This typically occurs when there is an incomplete seal around the chest tube, often due to a loose connection or an insufficient closure of the insertion site. In this scenario, the large 5 cm incision may be the source of the leak. The most appropriate next step is to anticipate the placement of additional sutures around the chest tube to secure the site and eliminate the air leak. This should be followed by applying an occlusive dressing to ensure a proper seal, which will stop the bubbling in the water seal chamber. Adjusting the water level in the seal chamber won't resolve an air leak and it's not a standard intervention for this issue. Increasing suction pressure won't fix the source of the air leak and could potentially cause lung injury there's no indication that the existing chest tube is malfunctioning. Therefore, addressing the air leak at the current site is the appropriate step. Which means that the correct answer has to be B. Placement of additional sutures around the chest tube. So, the key takeaway is this. When you notice continuous bubbling in the water seal chamber, it almost always points to an air leak. So you should check for loose connections, inadequate closure around the chest tube, or potential tube damage. The goal is to secure the insertion site with sutures and apply an occlusive dressing to create a proper seal and eliminate the leak. If you enjoy practice questions like this, definitely consider checking out our TMC test bank. It's a massive bank of practice questions with helpful explanations like this one that students are using to pass the TMC exam. It also comes with multiple mock TMC practice exams to help you test your knowledge and prepare for the real thing. If you're interested, I'll drop a link in the description below this video if you want to learn more, including some premium bonuses that are included for a limited time. You can also consider signing up to receive daily TMC practice questions directly to your inbox each morning when you wake up. This is one of the most effective strategies to learn every topic that's required to earn a passing score. Again, if you're interested, check out the links below in the description. But real quick, if you don't mind, please drop a like on this video and subscribe to support the channel. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Have a nice day and thanks for watching.